What is up, everybody? It is I, Ronan. And today, we're learning how to play some pure Mech Knights. Now, if you don't know Mech Knights, they're most famous for Mech Knight Abram. Not because he's a good card. Well, he's actually a pretty decent card, especially Mech Knights, because he's the only thing that you can just sort of summon. But he's famous because of his, uh, his flavor text. You see, he's a normal monster. It's got all this lore in the OCG version. It's pretty epic. It tells you a lot about the story of the World Legacy timeline, which is kind of like Dual Terminal, except the decks are better. And the Konami localization <laughs> cut it all down to check this out. Like, Konami localization team, never change. You're wonderful. And I would not want this card to be any other way. But uh, yeah. Mech Knights, they're all about them columns. They go second, and if your opponent just doesn't do anything, you uh, you really struggle to do things too. But uh, yeah, um, they just kind of have column stuff. They're all about those columns. They're cool columny boys, and I like the deck a lot. I've tried it a little bit just to make sure it works. It does work. I couldn't really figure out a side deck because I'm fairly comfortable with the de main deck as is, but uh, yeah. If you're new, we're going to be playing free games, and we're just going to try to win our most of those games, I guess. But uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the first game. All right, welcome to the first game with Cut682. Weird amount of people with numbers in their names tonight, and we are localized in celebration of the glory of Mech Knight Avra. And this maybe isn't a bad hand. So what we can do is, if we don't actually draw monsters here, we can activate scar ca scars caused by the world legacy, and it basically says, uh, besides all mech knights, hey, there's a mech knight getting 300 more attack and defense, you can drop a world legacy or mech knight card in order to uh, draw another card. So since we have duplicate whisper or world legacy whispers, We'll discard and draw, and A, we drew exactly what we wanted to draw. Uh, so we got to set one over here, so we have columns. Now we will special summon here? And attack mode. And we will... Okay, waiting for him. He might have a response, let's see. Bottomless trap hole. Uh, no. Go ahead. I think that's fine. Because we can activate key to the world legacy to get it back. Yes, I would like to add a banished mech knight. Now, I'm not sure if we can special summon again. Okay, we can't. Unfortunate. But we still have blue sky. Blue sky is very good. He lets us search things. Good things. Like... Uh, he lets us search this thing. This thing's a good thing. Because we can summon it. And it will give us a search, which is pretty dope. Uh, we could summon. We don't need to summon, so we won't. Uh, so, tip. Always attack with the stronger monster first, especially when you're going into, like, face downs like that. Uh, can I chain? Why can I not chain? Guess I gotta go normal chain. Uh, no. We'll wait for it to be destroyed. Uh, no, no. Holding A, by the way. Now we hold A. What? Why can't I chain to it? This is in my hand. I can chain, right? I should be able to chain. Uh god, why does it have to do that? Uh, fine. Um, uh, main phase two, we will set one. And we could special summon here. We could... Uh... Let's see, this negates... Spell cards, so... 
this negates traps, so we need the monster effect negator. So we'll go ahead and summon this one, I think. Because I think it will let us search. If it will give me the option at all. Like, it should let us search, I think. So there we go. I think it does. Let's see. If this is Link Summon, you can discard a Mech Knight monster or a World Legacy. Add a World Legacy. Yeah, we will. So we discard this to add with to add uh, secrets because secrets will give us monster effect negation. So we have all our negates here, and we'll go ahead do this. True Depths to Special Summoning Level Five. In this case, it will be Movement. No. Right here. So that's monster effects. That's monster effect negation. We have trap negation. And we will have spell negation in a second here. Uh, yeah. So there we go. We have as much negation as we want, really. As soon as he summons Buster Drake we can uh, move our Mech Knight over to it. But we're going to wait for him to summon it so we know what column it's in. So we can just shut down its effects. Real quick. Real easy. Uh, let's see. So Union Hanger is activating. No. No need. Uh, yeah, but uh, let's see. Would be destroyed by... So he's destroying it to... do something. What? Oh, he's making Silent Honor Arc. Uh, we'll go ahead and move him over here. No. I don't mind him getting a search. We can just shut down this area. I believe it's just a search. Yeah, it's just a search. That's fine. Uh, Crush Wyvern. No effects. That's the goal. Uh, let's see. No. Because you can't do that now. Because I moved into your space. <laughs> Apparently we just win. Okay, that was pretty awesome. Uh, I will chalk that one down as a win. But, yeah, you get the basic idea of what the deck appears is supposed to do. You get, you know, all your column negations, and then you just use move man and other things to mess with your opponents because they did not respect your columns. But yeah, that's basically what the deck's supposed to do. Uh, let's just hope it continues. I'll see you guys in game two. Alright, welcome to game two with Manos. Or is that... Yeah, I think that's Manos. I want to say that's Manos. We're going hard paper here, by the way. Probably should have gone Rock there, actually. Feel a lot more confident with Rock. I feel more... Yes, okay, good. We're going second again. <laughs> All right, and let's see this hand. Again, not an awful hand, actually. Uh, we got two impermanents, which is awesome. Uh, we got scars, something we need to summon if we need to. And whispers, which is a target for scar. So that's good. Oh, let's see. And he actually did something. <laughs> uh, let's see, though. Is he going to play around Mech Knight's? I hope he's going to play around Mac Knights. So he's a setting. What's your plan, man? Oh, cool. We're playing against Metaphys. Nice. I love Metaphys. Metaphys is a cool deck. Of course, they indirectly got hit very hard with the limiting of Gold Sarcophagus. But, uh... Ooh. Hey, and there's Rhoda for Metaphys. Nice. He's rota -ing. What's he going to search? Probably Ragnarok. Yeah, Ragnarok. Uh, we could stop his whole play by getting rid of the Ragnarok. Oh, shoot. We can't change his monster effects now. <sighs> okay, yeah, that's unfortunate. Well done, dude. Yeah, Metaphys Factor is really good. It just says, hey, you can't hand drop my Metaphys. 
Uh, but he only he banished a decoy dragon, so he will have that now. And we actually don't. Uh, we could do some work here. We could do some work. It just says we have to discard. It doesn't say we have to send it to the graveyard, so that's good. No. Uh, so. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get another target for Scar, I think. I think that's a smart thing to do. No, and... Apparently, a dimensional fissure didn't work? Did... Someone explain to me what's going on here. Did he accidentally turn off his dimensional fissure? Oh uh, yeah, we don't have that. So we can go ahead and set that over here. Special summon the purple one. Like so. Activate his effect to banish himself to summon the blue one. Uh, where's blue? Here's blue. We will go ahead and special summon blue one. Which will let us search things. Uh, blue one. He's super blue. Yes, I'll use the blue one's effect. Uh, so we can search... The... Moving one. As well as the red one. <laughs> okay, uh, things are going pretty well so far. So we can special summon moving one. And we can special summon red one. Like this. Let's see. Uh, when your monster is starting fat, you can target one of your metaphys monsters as banished or in your graveyard. Do you have metaphys monsters banished in your graveyard? Oh, you don't. So we'll also summon Avram. Uh, things definitely got out of hand for you, my guy. Things got a little bit out of hand. Uh, we'll go ahead and send Avram in the blue one, though, for that one. And I... Let's see, Whispers, that's the power-up. We probably don't need it quite as badly. I'd much rather have the monster reborn. But no. Well, we could actually do that. No, I kind of want the monster reborn. The monster reborn is just too good. Uh, we'll set that. Uh, then we battle. So first, we'll attack with this. Because he does not have a banished metaphys monster. We are. We should be fine. And if he has a way to power up, the Morning Star's ability will protect us from Ragnarok's ability. Oh. Okay then. I guess that's the end of our turn. Uh, we'll go ahead and set this though. So yay. Uh no. And we'll hold it. Yes. True depths for monster negation. Because monster negation is really good here. Uh, no. Oh, did I not have a monster? I thought I did. Oh, I didn't. Let's see. Any monster since the graveyard. Okay, that was my bad. I mean, we can still negate monster effects here, so that's what's important. So you set one. I'm not too worried, because he is a Metaphys player who has not opened any of the big ones, though, so it's whatever. Okay, we can get a draw here. Uh, go ahead, activate purple. Summon purple back. To attack. To attack. We can keep digging through our deck here, so... Probably should. 
Go ahead, terraforming for the last scars. And we will be able to, let's see, Metaphys Dimension. Let's see, Special Summons a Monster. Uh, no, it's fine. That can resolve. We just want to draw a card. Because drawing cards is fun. You like drawing cards, I like drawing cards. Hey, it's Mech Knight Avram. Nice. And now, we can go ahead and negate that ability so we can't special summon Ragnarok again. It's pretty important. Now for the battle phase. So we'll start by attacking with this. Uh, no effects for you, sir. Yeah, no. That That's why I did that. Because I know all about Decoy Dragon and his tricks. And why wasn't that sent to the extra deck? Reasons? I would like some reasons, please. I mean, we got a little bit of damage, so that's all that matters. Uh, we can... Let's see, we can banish this. Uh, let's see. Banish, special summon it, but banish during the end phase. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna end our turn at that. Like, we are in a genuinely pretty good spot here, I think. So, it's whatever. I'm not particularly concerned. Unless he... Oh yeah, no monster effects. Yes! The, the, the call of the haunted is so good. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, my Metaphys player friend. I, like, genuinely am. But he's attacking our Mech Knight Avram. Which makes me rather sad. But it's fine. Uh, so the one thing we... Hmm. Alright, main phase two. No need. Uh... Ooh! Another Crimson Lotus. Definitely tempting. Uh, first, everything to attack, I think, is good. Ooh, I see a play. I see a play. So what we're going to do is we will be moving our Indigo Eclipse. No. Over here. If we special summon, we are subject to that. Or we could normal summon. A little bit of a weird play. But I think overall it's good. No no, no special summon means we can't get Metaphys Dimension. And fortunately we also can't use that effect. But oh well, I guess. Uh We'll get in the most damage we can right now. So we attack using this. No. Our stuff will be switched. Our battle positions will change. Unfortunately. But we still have the Link Monster, so we can attack for the big damage. No. Uh... Alright, main phase 2 plan. We've got a main phase 2 plan, boys. Uh, we'll go ahead and banish itself. Search you. Special summon him. Let's see. If your opponent special summons a monster, you can hurt one of your banished metaphys. Special summon it. I might just have to let this happen. I hate it. I hate that I have to let this happen. But I have to. Uh, yes. 
So now he's going to get his Ragnarok back. Uh, oh, I don't like that. But it's for the greater good. Uh, let's go ahead and search this one. Let's see, he can only use that effect once per turn, right? Uh, this one's been banished. Okay, yeah, in that case, we will special summon this one here as well. For a little bit more. A little bit of defense, never a bad thing. And we are unfortunately incapable of dealing with that dimensional fissure at the moment. So, oof us. Oof us. But we did get our uh, better defense next turn. We're going to be getting a big boy back. So unless he does something big here right now, I think this will be game next turn. Alright, not bad. Because currently the only thing he can destroy in battle due to the effect of Morningstar is Red Moon. So yeah, we're in a really good spot here, I think. Just some really solid positioning. And banish eight mech knights with different names from your graveyard and or face up from the field. Okay, so he's going to hit us with that necro face. Uh, yeah. I think this will stop it. I think that's good. And no metaphys dimension, so. Oh, what if it... It would have been stopped anyways. Ah, oh, I wasted it. I wasted it. I should have used it next turn. That was dumb. That was just... That was very dumb on my part. Honestly. Now there's a chance he just has, like, Utopia the Lightning here. That would suck. Actually, no, it wouldn't. Neck Knight Morningstar's thing is a continuous effect, so Utopia the Lightning can't negate it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what he does here. I think we've got him. I think we've just got him. I mean, he did brick a lot, though, to be fair. Like, definitely not a good game for him. He did not hit any of his high-level metaphys. I'm sorry for that, dude. But yeah, let's see. Maybe he can fight back here. Maybe you can fight back. Let's see. Uh, Borload Savage. Okay. Um. He can't use his monster effects. Let's see. Uh, he's going to try to banish the movement one. No, that's fine. So yeah, a few things were banished. Uh, he gets Rodad. And he actually hits stuff. Nice. Uh, the Savage Dragon will be able to beat over our boys, though. So that's a little unfortunate. But at the same time, I think we're... Actually, no. We can just... Yeah, next turn we can just make a... Uh... The link free and oh, apparently connection was lost. Uh, so yeah, also gonna say that one was my win. He couldn't really remove my stuff. Next turn we could have just pretty easily made the link free gone for game. But I'll say that's game. So uh, yeah, I guess I'll. It's two wins so far. Nice. Uh, I guess I'll just see you guys in the third and final game. All right, we're going to the final game with Akainu. One Piece reference right there. And wow, we have won every time tonight. Nice. And let's see this hand. Okay, it's not awful. This is a, definitely a workable hand. Uh, it'll be nice if we can draw something we can set, though. But we do have the scars and we can drop the Avern. Hey, DDDs. See, this lets him search something, right? Um, add a dark contract from deck to hand. I imagine he adds the Rota one. Then he will Rota for... I actually don't know what he Rota's for. I know, like, basic DD and DDD combos, but that's... 
That's it? Really? So he searches one of the slime ones that lets you do stuff from your hand, I guess. I think that's the synchro one, right? Or it was the synchro one. Uh, can't look at that. I just want to see. Okay, let's see. If this card is in your hand, you can fusion summon. Okay, it's a fusion one. Oh, he had another fusion one. Nice. So. Uh, feels like a bit of a waste of a high flame king Genghis. Or just flame king. Huh. Still feels like kind of a waste. I know it's like a thousand for scales now, though, so that's scary. Uh, he. Not using the the Newton. I know Newton's the like really good one. I think it's the permanent scale ten. I'm pretty sure this one decreases scales and destroys your own stuff, right? Uh, once per turn, and your standby uses. Okay, yeah. So he got his Flame King back at least, and now he's got the Monster Reborn for probably the other Flame King. Uh, okay. Hmm. And High King Caesar. Uh, set to. Let's see. When a spell, trap, or monster effect is activated and includes an effect that special summons a monster, you can attach an Exes. Okay, so... We already have plays, so we're gonna try to bait that out. And apparently I'm getting notifications of some type. Let's see. Uh, Negate the activation. If you do destroy that, then make what? Control. You can take 1800. Okay. Uh, sure. We'll go ahead and activate this. Discard our Avram to draw a new card. Hey, called by the grave. Nice. Uh. Sure, now we'll special summon our movement. He is on the move. As one might expect. We'll activate the effect to move him over here. No. Now we will go ahead and special summon the moon one. We'll activate our moon min's effect to destroy this one. Uh, no. Uh. Yeah, actually. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, not a fan. Not really a fan at all, actually. Uh, sure. Now we will special summon this one, which will get us free searches. Free searches, by the way, and someone keeps messaging me, and I don't know who. Uh, so let's go ahead and get purple. Oh, hey. Uh, yellow. Purple and yellow, and regular Avram. Nice. So we are in a fairly good spot here. Uh, let's go ahead and use these two to summon this one and that will let us continue our plays yes uh, we can I would like to hold on to the yellow so we will hold on to the yellow this will let us search one of ours and a good one here would probably be uh yeah, I like the depth here. So we'll set our depth over here and special summon this. Let's see. No. We should have a couple mech knights we can use with the effect, so we'll banish blue. Pop a scale. 
Now we could normal Avram here. Hmm, it actually is a little bit tempting. Yeah, so we'll use Morningstar and that to summon our big boy. And this will let us attack over lots of things. Let's see. Uh, if this card is in your extra monster zone, points to no monster. It cannot be destroyed by card effects. Also, your... Uh, to the graveyard, special summon a mech knight from the sin position. Well, we can't attack directly, but we can still beat over some of his stuff. Alright, who is messaging me? I don't know who's messaging me. Uh, main phase two. Uh, yeah, I'd say that's about the end of our turn there. Yeah, go ahead and do this. Yes, we will special summon a level five or higher monster. And it will be a yellow one. Right here. Oh, he's called by the graving us. Uh, I'm going to have to anyways, so... Oh, unfortunate. We can move it here and negate that effect at least. Unless he has another response. Which would be a little cool. A little cool. Like, we need to move that out of the way to protect him anyways, so... Yet another called. So we're moving. Okay, then. He... I guess he targeted twice. So he's losing a thousand. Let's see, what do you banish? Uh... Okay. I mean, we have a little bit more protection for our Jack, so it's alright. Unfortunately, he has his scales back. So, ooh, that's... Hmm. Probably should have moved to one of these zones. That's my bad, though. Uh, we still have monster effects shut down here and here, so it's okay. I think we are in a fairly safe position at the moment. So he's adding that for, for the monster reborn. He's probably going to revive a Genghis. I can see Genghis here. Uh, if this this card, if this card is in the extra monster zone points to no monsters. So even if he puts something in this column to try to mess with my stuff. <gasps> oh my god, he put it in there. Well, that one can still activate. Well, I mean, that effect will shut down. Can he only use it once per turn? I'm guessing it's not a once per turn. Oh. Oh, it's a once per turn. Uh, I can type a message. Let's type a message. Move man is pretty good. <laughs> He's just moving around, messing with your plans. <laughs> Yeah, 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 go Kainu. Look at this champ being a good sport about it. I'm glad he's I'm glad he's doing alright. Okay, so he's doing that, but effects are shut down, so Yeah. Um Columns. Yeah. Yeah, this effect actually... Yeah. This effect is weird. Like, yeah, this actually would take a second to get used to playing against. Like, really just learning to think about your columns. It, it is strange. But now... I think that's just sort of like a uh, Fire King circle almost. You can now special summon something, right? Okay, so... He did get rid of that. Good on him. We're still in a... Ooh, actually, Kali Yuga could be trouble here. Kali Yuga just switches off every monster except for itself, so... I don't know, that could be rough. Could be rough. 
But yeah, someone's messaging me on Discord. I don't know who it is right now. I'm sure it's probably Aruji, but yep, there's Kaliuga. Dangerous card right there, honestly. Just a real, a real nuisance to say the least. So, so uh, yeah, Kainu definitely back in the driver's seat a little bit. So you can detach and then just heavy storm the field. So that that really does put us at a bit of a, a good bit of disadvantage. But that could help. Uh, so yeah, but this is a good thing about Avram. Like you can just you can just summon it. You know. Just whatever. Uh, yeah, we'll attack that. His effect would be floating anyways, so we're not even worried about floating into the extra deck thing. We can't stop it, honestly. Alright, so Siegfried. Uh, actually, shoot. Why did I... Mm, he's just gonna heavy storm again. Alright, we'll do that. He's just gonna heavy storm again. God, that was dumb. That was so dumb. Okay, okay. You know what? It's fine. But yeah, definitely in a rougher position here. You know, boy Akainu coming back hard and strong. As expected. Huh. Oh. <gasps> Wait, what? Huh? <gasps> no way! Oh, it's exciting news, guys. My older brother's about to do a Jump Force 2 tournament, and he needs help with a character. Oh, this is exciting. This is so exciting. Uh, I'm going to tell him Luffy. I think, I think Luffy is a good, solid pick here. Let's see. If you don't know what it is in anime world combat, I don't know any of the characters. Just look at them and tell me who to pick. Um, I think Jump Force 2 is the new one. So, you know, that features the Pharaoh, it features uh, Asta, I think Deku's in there. I want to say Deku's in there. And, yeah, this is going to hurt. Uh, he's sending me the images, though, so before this ends, I'm definitely telling you guys what I picked for him. But, yeah, this is game. Uh, I'm going to hit Akainu with the GG. He did well. Alright, let's see. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, Mech Knights... I don't know, I think the deck's really cool. It's weird to fight against it. But yeah, let's go ahead and get back to the uh, deck screen. I'll see you guys there. Uh, so yeah, um, Mech Knight's cool deck. I'm telling my brother to pick Luffy. Luffy or Asta. Luffy or Asta are cool. So yeah, they're, they're picking them. And uh, yeah, so Mech Knight's just... Uh, it's a weird deck, because, like, if you let it get set up, it's very hard to deal with. There's obvious outs, sort of like things like Kaliugu, like you saw, that just turns off the whole board, but that kind of outs everything. But I don't know, it's just, a, it's just a strange deck to play against, and I feel like when people finally get it figured out, like, okay, this is what I need to do, like, they counter it and win against it with a fair bit of ease, but, uh, yeah. I love this deck. Let me know how I can improve it. Uh, what do you think of Check This Out? Because I haven't read the actual flavor text on it. But uh, yeah, like if you liked, comment if you have something to say, and subscribe if you want some more. This has been Ronan, signing off.